This is the VEX VR for the disc color maze level one. So if we take a look, our goal on this one is we are going to take our VR robot starting at the green and touch on at least five different colors and ending up at the red finish. We're going to use the eye sensor on this one to detect these colors and to navigate about. Now, there's lots of different ways we could write this program. We could do it intensively by saying move forward, make a right hand turn, uh, go forward this many millimeters, make a left hand turn, and navigate ourselves around this uh, environment of the disk maze. Now, although that program style would definitely work, uh, the problem with that program style is we take a look at navigating to these different marks on the floor with our little walls is it's intensive. It's coding intensive, it's math intensive, uh, where I'm going to challenge us to ch choose to write an algorithm instead that makes this much easier for us. Uh, so using that sensor that we're learning about and uh, our control structures, we're going to try to create this algorithm. So we're going to do a forever loop because one thing that we want this to do is to always happen uh, until we get to that red, of course, which was where we want to stop. So if I look at this, the first thing I want to do is come up with an if-then statement, meaning, or an if-else statement, I apologize. So if this condition is running, do this. Else, we want it to uh, do this. And the one thing that we want it to do is we want our uh, robot to drive forward. So the way the program runs now is this robot will always drive forward because we're in the else statement. Well, we have to set the conditional for the if statement. And the conditional that we want to set is if our front sensor is near an object. So if our front sensor is detecting an object in front of us, then we want to run the if statement. So for example, if we're going forward, we're always going to drive forward. But once that sensor picks up this green uh, object, we're going to run what's ever in here. Now we're dealing with three different colors here. We're dealing with uh, red, green, and blue. So we're going to want three separate if statements inside of this uh, conditional. One for if we're detecting uh, green, one for if we're detecting uh, blue, and one if we're detecting red. So I need to come to my front eye sensor again and come here and if my front eye detects and i need three of those so i might as well just drag them in move this out of the way so the first thing i'm going to do is what happens if it detects green what happens if it detects blue and what happens if it ultimately detects red well i know the red is simple if it's red I'm going to stop my car because that's what the program is asking for. If we take a look, my first color is green. Well, what do I want to do? If it detects green, I want to turn right. And I want to turn right at 90 degrees. Now, as soon as that detector no longer turns green, remember, we're going to uh, move forward. So. What happens if it detects a blue? Well, if it detects blue, I want to turn left at 90 degrees. So what I'm setting myself up for is to turn right or left to navigate through this course. Now, if we take a look at how this is programmed now, now I'm going to change my view on it so we can see what's occurring. I've read green. Now I've read blue here. So my robot not exactly what sure happened to that robot so let's go back and take a look at it from a camera point of view so we're detecting uh green blue which means i should turn left i don't know what that first original glitch was 